Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be talking about the Pythagoras Theorem. The first and foremost thing that you need to know is that this theorem only applies for right angled triangles. So applies when dealing with right angle triangles. Triangles, right? And also, it applies when given two sides and you're looking for the third side, right? So you use it to calculate the length of a side given the other two sides. So given two sides and calculating the third. So these are two things that you have to know. So if somebody is asking you about angles, don't rush to Pythagoras because Pythagoras primarily, primarily deals with length of sides. Given two sides and you find the third one, given that the shape is a right angled triangle. So let me draw my right angled triangle. There we are. There it is, let's call this one A, B, C. And then the little square in the corner is the one that shows that this is a right angle, that the line AC is at 90 degrees to BC. So I will call this side A, I'll call this side B, I'll call this side C. So these are small letters. So the angles are denoted by capital letters and then the sides, the corresponding sides have got the small letters. So, A squared plus B squared will be equal to C squared, where C is the longest side, longest side called the hypotenuse. So the longest side of a triangle, AB, right, is called the hypotenuse. And then these other two sides are always going to be at 90 degrees to each other. So you know that the two angles that are at 90 degrees to each other are the shorter angle, are the shorter sides, and then the hypotenuse is the one that joins the two, right? So that's the, always the diagonal, right? So given two sides, you should be able to calculate the third. And also remember that this only applies when you're dealing with right angled triangles. So assuming that C is equal to square root two and B is equal to one, what is the value of A? What is the value of A? So we're given two sides and we're asked to find the third side. So we have to go back to Pythagoras theorem and say, what are we given? We're given the hypotenuse. So A squared is what we're, we don't know, plus B squared is equal to C squared. So A squared plus one squared is equal to square root two squared. So what I've simply done is, I've substituted what I've been given. I know B is equal to one. So I put, where is B, I substituted with one. And I know C is equal to square root two, so I substituted with square, square root two. So, excuse me, this is gonna be A, A squared plus one is equal to two, right? So A squared is equal to two, and then if I take the one to that side, it's gonna be minus one. So A squared is equal to one. 
So now, because we've got a squared, we're not looking for a squared, we're looking for a. We have to reverse that using the square root. So square root, what you do on the left-hand side of the equation, you also do on the right-hand side. So a is equal to 1. So we have found the third side using Pythagoras' theorem. So you can go now and practice with different lengths and different situations and make sure that you understand the theorem of Pythagoras. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.